Hey guys, what is up? Um, hey guys, what is up today? I show you how to repair your Lenovo. <sighs> Leno your Lenovo Yoga 110. I I mean Lenovo Yoga 710 and computer. So you're gonna see this hole right here with the little arch arrow. If you can't see that, it's because of the lighting in here. But it is there. And you're going to take a paper clip. You're going to stretch it out like this. Okay? And now what you're going to do is you're going to shove it in that hole right there until the computer turns on. Alright? So you're going to make sure the computer turns on. If it doesn't turn on, um, that's a problem. But just shove it in there. And once it turns on, as you see by the white light, you're going to get the Lenovo screen, all right? That's what we're hoping for. You're going to scroll down the boot menu. You're going to select your hard, you're, you're going to select your flash drive or whatever recovery media, recovery media you have in, inside of here. Okay? All right. This is what you're going to do. There... But this is a fix for those people that get stuck in boot loops or, you know, that just generally cannot recover their operating system, can't reset the PC or whatever. This is a fix for that. Alright guys, so this is what you got to do. Once you get up to this screen, you're going to press next. Alright. And you're going to press repair your computer. And then you're going to get to this screen. You're going to press Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and Command Prompt. Alright? And once you get to here, here you're going to type disk. You're going to type disk part. Okay? Disk part. Type in disk part. And then you're going to type, sorry if the camera isn't really that good, but you need to type in list disk. Make sure you add the space. You're going to do select disk zero, which is your hard disk. And you're going to press clean. You're going to type in clean. All right. And now you're going to type exit. And again, you're going to type exit. At this point, you want to reboot the PC. You're going to turn off your computer, and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to do the same exact thing, okay? Now that your disk is clean, this is your only hope of installing or reinstalling Windows if you're having an error or whatever with the system this is your only way to do it all right guys so um, there will be a part two to this video because it takes a long time to install windows so you're gonna go ahead and just go through the normal setup um you're gonna press install now that you now that you completely cleaned off the disk and all that you want you want to make sure you did because uh, you want nothing on the, that hard disk. You don't want any files, any apps, no nothing on that hard disk. Because if there's something on that hard disk, that's going to be a problem and that's going to screw up your install installation process. Okay, we don't want that. What we want is a completely cleaned out hard disk to do this. You're going to select partition 3. This is the only way you can do it because... The other partitions, for whatever reason, they won't let you select them, but I'll see which ones you can select, and then I'll choose, I'll tell you which one is better for you to choose. I recommend do not use your primary um, partition, because that's where you're going to be storing all your apps, and you don't want your apps being um, sharing the same partition as your... Um,
um, as your operating system itself. All right, so now once you get here, you're going to click Custom Install Windows Only Advanced. All right, this is what I'm talking about, partition tables. Here, it, you're just going to select Disk Zero, unallocated space. You're going to press Next. So it's just going to install it on the hard disk. There's no partitions. It'll create the partitions by itself because it does that. And I'll show you in the next video. Alright, so peace out, guys.